Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the latest version of my dot files in the version 2.3. This new version includes a lot of improvements for Hyperland and for Qtile, the two preferred window manager that I use in my daily business. One of the biggest changes in the configuration is a new Rofi setup. Rofi is the application launcher and I use it to launch an application, but also for menus to select a wallpaper and to show all entries of the new clipboard manager, Cliphist. And with that, you have access to the whole history of your snippets and files that you store into your clipboard. Hyperland also now includes a better structure. So I have created dedicated files for all important elements of the hyperland.conf. Hyperland also now includes a new wallpaper engine with new transition effects and also the window animation have improved and now it looks a bit more smoother and a bit more modern. Let me show you the dot .files 2.3 in action. And don't forget, if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. And welcome to my Hyperland desktop. Hyperland with the dot .files in the version 2.3. And there are several new things now integrated into the desktop. First one is you see here a new animation style. Yeah, you see how the windows are coming up, are showing up on a desktop. And also when I remove a window, you see also here that nice animation effect. Let's move to the top bar to waiver. And when I click here on the application launcher, Rofi pops up and Rofi has now a completely new layout with a lot of transparency effects. And you see it already here with a background image. This is the current wallpaper. So when I close Rofi again and I switch the wallpaper with super key shift W and I open Rofi again, you see that the new wallpaper is used. And I can search for an application. I can scroll with the mouse wheel through the applications. I can click on an application to start it with a single click. And I can run here in command. You see also that again, I'm using a color from the wallpaper as a background of the highlighted list item. Let's close it again and switch again to another wallpaper. And you see with that, it's super seamless integrated in the overall layout. Let's close it. And we are coming to the next icon here in way bar. It's here that image. When I click that image, the wallpaper changed. And you see already the new transition effects also randomly selected. So means when I click here, the wallpaper and the transition effect is selected randomly. When I click with the right mouse button on that icon, another Rofi menu appears where I can select the wallpaper from the wallpaper folder. For example, the neon car, or I can also select another wallpaper from my Tron series or the spaceship. Then we have here the task manager of Waybar means when I open, for example, Brave, you see the Brave icon pops up and when I switch to workspace number two and click on the Brave icon, it's respect to the workspace where this application is running. The next icon is a quick launcher for Nautilus. Here is Nautilus also now with a new icon theme. It's the Cora icon theme and Nautilus is running in the dark mode. The next icon is a quick launcher for Brave. And this is the name of the current window. So when I open the terminal here, you see that the window name that is showing up here in Waybar is changing. Let's close the windows again and open a terminal because now we are coming to the workspace indicator and the workspace indicator now includes the number 
of the current workspace. So I'm currently in workspace number one and I can switch to workspace number two. And you see this number helps a lot, especially if you have something also on workspace number four. And then you can select the right number on your keyboard. Much easier. This is for me uh, a usability improvement. Okay, next is the number of available updates. Then the volume and the microphone indicator. Here are the system information. So when I click here on 80% um, hard disk, for example, I can click on it and HTOP is showing up with more detailed information about the um, memory and the running processes and applications. Let's close it. Let's switch to another wallpaper. And again, now we are coming to a new feature. This is the clipboard manager, Cliphist. And Cliphist collects all the things that I put into the clipboard. Let's give it a try with this is a test. I can copy this to the clipboard. And here is now the new entry. Yeah. When I can when I click on this and paste it in, you see then the text is popping up. I can also test two, test three. I can copy this. And I can copy this. And when I open the clipboard manager, you see here also the test three and the test two are now added to the history. When I click on test two and I paste it in, then test two is of course coming up. So this is the idea of a clipboard manager. You have access to your clipboard history. Super helpful. Um, when I click with the right mouse button, I can remove an entry. So when I click now here on test three and open the list again, then the entry test three is deleted. But I can also clear the whole history by clicking with the middle mouse button and I confirm with clear. And now the clipboard manager is empty. Then we have here the network information and with the exit button, I open W lock out and with lock, I can lock the screen. When I want to create a screenshot, I press super key print and I can select here an area for the screenshot. Or, of course, the full screen. So three seconds delay. And here is the screenshot of the full screen. And I'm using here as an image preview Swappy. And with Swappy, I have here some additional features. Let me show you one change in the Hyperland Conf configuration file. Let's CD into Hyper and open Hyperland Conf. And you see that the file is now much shorter and much cleaner structured because I created dedicated files for all important configurations and put everything into a subfolder conf. So I can now easily access, for example, all my key bindings by opening the folder conf and then open the folder key bindings. And here are only my key bindings listed and I can concentrate here on modifying it and changing it. For you, it's now easier to set up the keyboard layout because this is the first variable at the beginning of the Hyperland conf. So I can switch it easily between the US keyboard layout to the German keyboard layout and whatever you want. 
The second section here on top is the screen resolution, also something that you usually change. Um, then we have here the first um, includes for the configuration files, the auto start, for example. Here I include the color file dynamically generated by Pywall, and then, of, as already mentioned, the rest of the configurations. And now we are on Qtile. And also here, the new Rofi application starter layout is integrated, also using the background image and the colors from the wallpaper. I can switch the wallpaper with super key shift W, and you see here the new layout of Dunst. Again, super key shift W, and also here the new wallpaper is included. Let's close it and with super key control W, the wallpaper select menu is also available on Qtile now. You can install the dot files in the version 2.3. Just by cloning my repository, you will find the links in the description below. Clone it into the dot files folder or download it as a zip file and extract it into the dot files folder. Then you have to start the installation scripts with one install.sh, two install hyperland.sh and or to install qtile.sh and then creating the integration of my dot files with three dot files.sh. In the upcoming videos, I will cover some of the details, the Pywall integration, the Rofi setup, and the integration of the Clipboard Manager. So stay tuned and see you next time.